natural. Hello, me, my name is Magali. Uh, if it's just your, your first time to my channel, I mean, I go by Magali. Most people know me by Magali Pearl. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. I see there's one person already. So thank you so much. And to all my subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you for all your support. So today's word, I wrote some stuff uh, down. I want to talk about spiritual warfare. So this is a topic that we don't often hear before we come to Jesus, okay? Before we get saved, this is a topic that most people shy away from it. They don't want to talk about it. I think maybe because they don't want to, uh, they don't want to, I mean, to, to discourage uh, the young believers because they don't want to, I guess, they don't want to, uh, they don't want us to, to be scared. Uh, but before I jump into warfare, because I want to talk about what is warfare, and uh, is it real? Where does it come from? Where is it in the Bible? So let's jump into the word of God. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 to verse 13. Uh, it says, for, we, uh, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the, uh, the powers of the, dark, of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Um, and then I will jump into Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Then Jesus, uh, Jesus called his 12 disciples to him and gave them authority to, tr to drive out impure spirits and to heal every diseases and sicknesses. So what is spiritual warfare? Spiritual warfare, as you know, we like leave, we are, we are yes, human bodies, but we are spirits first. And we are experiencing, we are spiritual beings experiencing a life here on earth. Um, I, I used to always know that there was always like another there was way beyond, there was life after this. There was always, because you know, when people die, we all know that when people die, that's not it. There's, there's, another, um, there's another life pretty much after this one. Um, so the reason why I want to talk about this so much is because it's so important. Um, usually this is what happens when you get saved and this happens and you're not prepared, you don't even know about it. We often give up because when we get saved, the devil is mad. He gets angry. He gets so angry and um, he sends all kinds of attacks. I mean, he attacks you mentally. He attacks you physically. Like all hell literally break loose. And this happened to me, guys. I know I always talk about the sweet things, about how God healed me. Yes, he did, which I'm grateful for. But there was an attack. I had to resist. I had to stay in prayer. I had to fast. Um... I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a battle. It's a battle. But the most beautiful thing about this battle is that this battle, Jesus already, this, he already won this battle. Um, so you can say, most people say that it's, it's, a, it's a Christian concept of fighting against the work uh, of, of, you know, supernatural, like evil forces. But mainly when they talk about spiritual warfare is, you can even have spiritual warfare like in your life with your family. And for you, if you're not careful, you would think that you're having issues with human beings. But the human beings are not the enemy. The enemy is Satan, the devil, who is doing everything uh, in his power, that little power that he has to use everything around you to, to work as if God is against you. Um, and the main thing that Satan is after is, after is your soul. The, the main thing is after he's after is our faith, because if he can get our faith, if he can get us to deny Jesus, because if it's one thing, remember when Job was when when, you know, Satan went and told Job, I mean, God, that he wanted to uh, to pretty much like destroy uh, Job's life. But God was like, have you seen there's no other man like Job? But Satan was like, ah, it's because you have, you've blessed him, you've given him all of this. Why, why not? Of course, he's going to love you. Of course, he's going to praise you. So, and I think that's what, what happens. It's like when everything is going well, we are like happy with God and 
sometimes we get too comfortable and forget about God, right? And when things go wrong, that's when we come back and say, oh, God, you've abandoned, you have abandoned us, and we'll, you know, we leave God. But God gave permission to Satan, and he said, you know, go and do whatever you want to do, but spare his life. Don't touch his, his life. So, you know, obviously Job lost everything, but Satan was not after his money. He was not after his wealth. He was not after, he's not after, he does not care about what we have. What he cares about the most is our faith, our soul. If Satan can have our soul, especially with everything that is going on right now, guys, with the election, as me, I live in America. So there's too much going on here. There's like, we have Democrats, we have Republicans, we have people fighting. Yes, we have I mean, we have Black Lives Matter. We have all of this, but we have to see things differently. It's not, it's not what we see with our eyes. I may think that, oh, this is my enemy. No, we're really not each other's enemies. We are, we are, we are just fighting. There's, there's this, there's evil forces fighting, and these principalities, and it's just Satan is trying to plan. He's been planting a seed of division and to make the good look bad and to make the, the bad look good. This is what we are facing here in America. Uh, so the spiritual America is under spiritual warfare, like big time, big time, because I have never seen when people say, I mean, Americans tend to say they're smart, but now I'm like, listen, can't you see that this, all of this, it's sad to see even Christians who, who are saying things like, Oh, you know, uh, I, I want the president to like to get sick or something bad to happen to him. And you happen to claim yourself, you call yourself Christian and you're giving your way. You literally giving permission, the enemy to use you. So we are in a spiritual warfare. That's when you're going to see a lot of bad things are happening. Um, I mean, there's wars. I, you can see what's happening in Armenia. I, I'm like very careful with what I'm watching on the news. Uh, because that's why Satan is after this. He's after your mind. He's after your soul. So, guys, protect your souls. This protect your mind. Um, keep reading the Word of God. It's the only thing that can keep us literally sane. It's the only thing that can keep us safe right now. And continue to pray, um, not only for like people you love, and not only for your family, but pray for those for those people that you don't even like. Um, I know. Most people will probably not even care about praying about like the president of, you know, the president like Trump. But we are called to pray for leaders. You know, we are called to pray for uh, our leaders. We're called to pray for, for one another. Uh, so going back to spiritual warfare, I will tell you guys before going back. So I went through, I was talking about politics and all of that, but I have a passion of politics, you know. So, uh, but going back to spiritual warfare. I remember when I got saved, okay, when I decided, but first before I was, you know, in my journey of giving my life to Christ, man, I was being tempted left to right. I mean, temptation is, I mean, left and right. I mean, that's when I was being invited to the best parties. That's when I was being invited to things that I've never got invited to, that I always wanted to go to, and I, I would be... I would be left in a situation where like, okay, so do I go here? Do I do this? Do I, it was just a, it was hard. So whenever you're experiencing temptations to another level, just, just know, don't be shy. Don't be, I mean, don't shy away from that or don't be discouraged. Just know that it's a spiritual warfare. It's, it's the enemy. You're probably just trying to go the right way. And the enemy now, what he's trying to do is he's trying to, to distract you from your calling or from, from, you know, the call of God, because that's what he really wants. Because most of us, a lot of you guys are probably going to watch this or whoever's watching me, you know, that there's a call of, there's a call on God on your life. Uh, maybe you've already answered it. Maybe you have not, but you know, deep inside in, you always hear a voice inside of your heart. Whenever like you hear, like in your conscious, you hear something telling you, I'm calling you. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get your attention. And the, the best thing is one thing that God does is God is such a gentleman. He does not force. He has given us a will. So, and he doesn't force us. God is not a dictator. So he just puts everything in front of you and he, he, he lets you take a choice. He like, he's like, okay, just make a choice. So 
Then I get saved. I get saved, guys. Way before that, I had been going through some like interesting attacks in my dreams. I want you guys to pay attention to your dreams. One, another, another indication, another uh, thing that will help you uh, know that you're experiencing warfare is that your dreams. What are you dreaming about? Are you having nightmares? Are you, uh, I mean, you all of a sudden like dreams, you're having, you're having all kinds of dreams. You're being attacked. You're dreaming, you know, dreams like demonic dreams. Uh, you know, you probably, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but sometimes that is God trying to show you because during the day we have so much going on and the only way, the only way God can get our attention is at, sleep, at night because everything is quiet. We're not doing anything without sleep. So it's up to you to either pay attention to your dreams and ask God what he's trying to tell you, about, you know, what he's trying to indicate. Um, but yes, one of the way that actually helped me to be delivered from something that I, I had been struggling with, I had no idea, is a dream that I once had. I had this dream, uh, like probably... Uh, so many times and i i had this dream last year as well um uh, it was a dream that was so scary it was so scary i had a dream that i was literally killing snakes <laughs> and um i woke up i would just woke up like terrified because i had snakes okay i had snakes if it's one thing i you would never hear me say something like oh i hate the word or, the word i hate is is a word that i really i'm very careful using this word i don't I don't have anything I can say that I hate except snakes. I really don't. Uh -uh. I love animals, but when it comes to snakes, mm -mm. Uh -uh -uh -uh. so I woke up like terrified. And I think that sometimes God, God is very smart. But God is very smart. In order to, for Him to get your attention, sometimes He will use. Literally, he's going to use something that He knows that you, in real life you can't stand that you don't like. <laughs> so uh, that's that's just how God works. So, and I used to always have dreams like before about snakes and I'll wake up, I'm like, I don't understand. Why do I see snakes in my dreams? Um, but that dream, oh my God, that dream was, that was something else. I woke up, I was like, no, I'm done. I'm like, enough is enough. But I was like, okay, I was killing snakes. But the one that I almost killed, it kind of like, you know, escaped. But it's like me waking up, I was literally killing. Like, you know how you have a dream and you, you're doing something, but... I'm pretty much like killing all the snakes and all of them are dying, but one literally almost escaped. And, uh, you know, I woke up, you know, pretty much like while killing it. And uh, I called someone and I told him about it, the dream I had. And that person revealed something so important to me. And I had no idea what it was. And mind you, this is before I got said. So I was like, you know what? I never used to really believe in like this, you know, bad stuff like voodoo and you know, I really was like, ah, well, if that stuff exists, okay, bring it on. But that kind of woke me up, okay? And I was like, okay, God, if it's this is what you're telling me, whatever that is trying to come to come 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 after me, it won't, it won't in the name of Jesus. So I started praying. And the more I started praying, the more God continued to reveal. So, guys, please pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. If you have dreams you're eating or you have dreams while you're, I mean, animals are like weird animals chasing you. Or if you have dreams of dead people, you be very careful. And maybe next time I'll talk about dreams, but. Uh, I, I'm also kind of like learning. I'm still, guys, I, I'm... The best way, just grab your Bible and always pray and ask the Holy Spirit to reveal. Um, because all of us can, you know, my experience will not be your experience. But sh us sharing experiences is also another way of, you know, another way of helping each other and to, um, uh, to help us, to help each other get around. But anyway, so I also experienced, like, I almost, guys, I probably would not be here because I almost had a crazy accident too in 2019. And it was just like, everything was just going 
I mean, I'm telling you, I was being attacked. I mean, it was just crazy. But I want to tell you that we serve a God, like Jesus Christ. Nobody, one thing that the enemy is afraid of is afraid of Jesus Christ. <laughs> if it's one thing that Satan does not play with is Jesus Christ. That's why you realize that many people will say God, 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 but they won't say Jesus because demons can say God. They really can say God. I literally remember one time having a dream, a dream I was literally being attacked by a, a probably, I know it's probably a demon. I was being attacked by a demon in a dream and I was fighting, fighting with, with my own power. And then I was like, wait a minute. And then when I said in the, in the you know, when I said in Jesus name and that demon fled, like it fled, it went away. So guys, spiritual warfare is real. It's so real, but I would this. Uh, let me share some scriptures that helped me, because the enemy will always attack. With, will, he will attack you with confusion. He will attack you with fear. Um, so this um, Ephesians chapter six is a very powerful uh, uh, chapter, um, and uh, so I'll probably just read. So you have this is one thing. Um, that is very important for every Christian to do is put on the whole armor of God. Read your Bible because if you want to 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 walk with God, if you want to live a victorious li uh, life with Christ, then the number one thing you gotta do is read your Bible. You need to have a relationship with God. You need to have a discipline, like be disciplined with the, with, with God. Be disciplined with the Word of God. Don't take it lightly. Don't just you know, depend on other people to have a relationship with you, then, you know, for you to have a relationship for God, you, with God for you, or to to pray for you. You need to pray for yourself as well. So, um, and there's this verse that literally helped me is Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Um, again, the word of God. I don't know. I don't know what I would have done if I didn't have the word of God, because the, literally, the word of God is that one thing that that is sure that can deliver us. Jesus can surely deliver us. So, uh, this is one thing I thank God so much for this verse, and I hope it helps you guys. It's Luke chapter ten, verse nineteen. Jesus said, "I have given you authority to trample on snakes." and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy nothing will harm you i just remember literally waking up in the middle of the night from my like weird dreams okay i remember waking up and saying this verse and saying that god i decree and declare that this word is true that this is what you've said so Satan or whatever attacks, whatever evil forces that are out there, they have no power over me. You, this is a powerful prayer. This is a powerful declaration. And when you're talking about, when you, 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 you are saying these words, you got to have faith and you got to have, you have to be bold because what the word of God says is true. It's true. It's just that the enemy, you know, takes advantage of the fact that we are ignorant, that we don't know, but how do we get to know? It's exactly by reading the word of God. Um, another verse is, oh my God, because he, fear, let me tell you, if you have, you, have, you have fear, that's not, that's the devil attacking you. You need to understand that fear is not for God. It's not from God at all. So he's going to try to attack you with, with fear. Uh, at least in my situation, I, I had that. Uh, that's why he will attack you in the middle of night when you would just wake up. Um, Migabo Amanda. Yes. Yes. My sister. Yes. Uh -huh. But he's, he, you know, and this is the funny thing. You know, the devil is so weird because he, he's so weak. He attacks you during when you are like at your weakest. Eh? Umunu, only weak, only weak people, only powerless people will attack you in your weakest moment, and that's what the devil does. You know, he's he's really weak. If we think about if we think about what God has given us, and we know the power of God and what Jesus Christ. Oh my God! When I'm talking about this, I just remember how I look back and I'm like, God, you're really powerful. 
So another verse that is very helpful, that helped me, and maybe it can help you as well, is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. My bad, my bad. That's not the one. That's not the one. Um, that's not the one. Wait one second. Um, and that literally this, I memorized this verse, but some reason I'm like, okay, so the word is, uh, for God did not give us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Um, if anyone, uh, let me find, let me find it for you guys. Yes, so it's Second Timothy chapter one, verse seven. Please find this, memorize this. Whatever the enemy tries to attack you with his lies, please go and read this. Read, uh, read this. This. Uh, this verse. Uh, so in in NIV, it's for the spirit. Uh, for 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 God did not give us the spirit of timid but but gives us power okay so this is what niv says for the spirit for the spirit god gave us does not make us timid but gives us power love and self-discipline so timid another way timid is like okay timid obviously uh, uh fear or you know discouragement or you know anything that like intimidation um but, a, but of power, that means when, he, when, when the word of God says that he has given us the power, he means the power over all things, the power over, I mean, that means the devil has no power over you. That means the enemy has demons. Nothing has power over you. Even addictions, even depression. I keep telling uh, people who always ask me, oh, how did I overcome my, my, my depression? Honestly, it's the word of God. Honestly, guys, it's the word of God because you gotta remember when the enemy is attacking you with depression and, and 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 all kinds of weird attacks and confusing you, he's using words. He's using words in your head. He's telling you, "Oh, you're not worthy." He's telling you, "You're not, um, you you're worthless." He tell he's telling you that he tells you so many lies. Literally, he tells you so many lies, and you gotta hit him back with the word of God. You hit yes, you do the same thing he's doing to you, but now you do it with the word of God. Um, I remember when Jesus was being tempted, right? When Satan was like, oh, so if you are the son of God, then you know what? You're hungry. So turn these stones into, into bread, you know? And he always attacked. I don't understand why the enemy always attacks our identity. Guess why? Why, why does he do that? When you are facing uh, issues like mental illness, it's all about identity, Mental illness, depression, it's all about identity. So that's what the enemy, he, the enemy wants us to have to second guess ourselves because he did the same thing with Adam and Eve. He was like, oh, if you want to be like God, but God already created us in his image. That means God has a plan and a purpose. We are here for a purpose and for a plan. So when you're being attacked like that, he, he was attacking Jesus. Like you're the son of God. So turn this... So if it's important for us to have to know our identity in Christ before anything else, before your career, before you whatever, everything, all these things here on earth is good. Yes, but they will never they will never give you a sense of worth of who you are. God only gives us that. So I just wanted to encourage you guys um, that those two verses uh the next video i'll probably talk about dreams and how spiritual warfare is connected to dreams um but yes don't forget ephesians chapter six i mean if you can read the whole chapter it will bless you and it will teach you how you you are to put on the guild of truth the bell uh the breastplate of righteousness the good news of the gospel which is the word of god um, so the shield of faith is important to keep your faith because that's what the enemy is after. He's after your faith because if he can take your faith, 
he's taking your soul he's taking you and you nothing you feel like you're nothing and you just you're just like um you're just like a, a a robot living because when you are under oppression like that when you're under a, a depression um you're not yourself something takes over the enemy literally they take over you and that's when you realize you're doing things that you never would you never will do before you never would have even thought about doing um yeah so i remember like when i was depressed i had like i used to i was drinking a lot because it was it will make me feel good right um or like smoking weed oh man i was just smoking weed like i started like little like healing myself and then little became like all right but everything that i used to see and say mm, never i would never do that you know and i would matter of fact say like never never in my life but that's what the enemy does he wants to take your soul he wants to to take you know your faith to the point where you don't even recognize who you are like you deny yourself and you deny god and if he can get you to deny god my friend he's got it you know so let's not give him that opportunity mm -mm. let's not no matter what situation i know listen I know that everything that is going on right now, it's crazy. It is crazy. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Uh, people losing their jobs um, with this whole pandemic. And I mean, it's crazy. It is really crazy. I know uh, people. some people are experiencing like a lot of financial issues. But let me tell you guys, in this life, nothing nothing good comes easy right and before every good thing happens there's always going to be a resistance there's always going to be a tax but we are to stay encouraged we are to stay strong and faith have faith but faith with works let's not just talk about oh i'm praying i'm doing this no put it in action as well whatever the holy spirit is putting in your heart if he's asking you to do to start a business go ahead and start a business if he's asking you to apply to a certain job is if, if, if the holy spirit is asking you maybe to go back to school or to do some do it but don't sit around and just say oh i'm going to pray and then sit down no 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 god responds to to actions because the the way if we claim to have faith then is going to show in our in our actions in our behaviors attitude not just what we say uh so i just want to encourage you guys um i know we are living tough times listen it's tough times for everyone um it's not always sweet in my life okay i have i have um things that i deal with too but the most beautiful thing is that now i know that i don't have to carry all the weight on my shoulder i just give it to god i just give it to jesus and i'm like listen jesus you you handle this i don't have the power to handle that so don't do life on your own don't carry all the weight on yourself give it to god literally he came to help us he said all you who are weary come to me and i'll give you rest so stop holding putting everything on your shoulder give it to god let let him be the king of your life let him be your savior let him be your provider let me tell you and god will show, god makes ways when there's no way that's that's the god that literally we serve he's amazing like when those times that you don't even know what you're gonna do or how you're gonna start where you're gonna start like, he comes through he comes through and he always comes through. So don't listen to the devil lying to you though that you, you're not worthy or you it's the end of the world or you're going to suffer. Mm -mm, don't listen to that. Remember, read the word of God. If you're going through, if you're experiencing warfare, remember guys, God has your back. Uh, so let me make sure that I didn't forget anything. Because... Um, let me make sure that I did not forget anything. Uh, yeah, I wish I literally knew about this before because I didn't know that I was going through, I was going to go through this, uh, I was going to experience. But it's warfare is the moment you became a believer in Jesus, all hell breaks loose. Because the devil now is like, oh, I've lost, I've lost him or her. I'm going to make sure I get, I get that person back or... Because remember, when you are saved, 
now everyone who's connected to you is what they also some they won't get saved right away or they but there is something that happens when you get saved it's not going to be your light you can be heated right um and that's the enemy though does not want that light he doesn't want that light to he doesn't want that light to shine for other people to get saved no so he's going to attack you but no matter what jesus already won the battle is already won because he won on the cross and that's something that is never that will never change it's guaranteed it's already done jesus won so we are more than conquerors in jesus christ so i just want to leave you with those verse two verses uh ephesians chapter chapter six and then i also want to leave you with uh second timothy first uh, uh second timothy chapter one verse seven uh and luke chapter 10 verse 19. so meditate on those words and ask the holy spirit to guide you and how to pray um, so be encouraged. I love you guys for watching. I want to thank you, um, me, me, Gabo Amanda. Uh, thank you for watching. Elvis and Shima, Chimayezu. Thank you so much. Umulisa Vestin. Hi, how are you? Uh, Umu thank you so much. Blessings up on you too. So anyway, that's it for you guys. I love you all. Please go ahead and subscribe, share, like, tell me what you think. Um, and if you want me to also do, guys, by the way, let me know what you would you like to, what would you like, you know, what would you like for me to, to say? What kind of context that you want, you guys want me to do? Um, Kezama, thank you so much. Yes, we don't have to carry all those all the weight on our shoulders. Seriously, yes, because it's it's we cannot, we cannot, we cannot. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, bye.